Okay, so what I was talking about, you know, I've used scrap plastic to uh, create a bearing so that the um, the wheel doesn't go onto that onto that bend. At the moment, I've used a, a um, basically a stopper to stop the leg going in. But um, so you can see, I've used used one on there as well. Now these are actually tabs off um, off uh, uh, a control arm. Um, pivots but um anyway on on the um mark one you can see that's that's a that's a prop adapter and that's the printed wheel as well that's the printed wheel and it's a little bit um yeah because i've used uh tony's um print uh g codes modified for the bed temperature and, and the filament temperature it's actually used a little bit more filament than it should have done but the tires are still still quite flexible so um, that's not a problem but i will do some um, with uh, uh, better settings um, to to match the um, uh, 3d lab print flexi light yeah so i've got a slight um, no pitch up on the ground about two or three degrees i reckon just to help her on on, on the ground run I, th I think she'll go it's uh it just i think the uh, video where it shows on the grass is is a bit unfair on her really i think give her a hard tarmac and she'll probably go okay long run the real one had a long run as well but um she always pitched up to 20 degrees and she ran for quite quite a while at 20 degrees before she actually lifted um product of the delta of course and and the sheer sweep back and the curvature of that wing so um anyway so we we we're, we're getting there it's uh, that's the mark 4 which uh, I will be testing the uh, well I don't know Maybe I'll test the droop snoot on a Mark 1 or whatever. I, I haven't decided yet. But um, anyway, so I had to measure the measure the legs. So it basically comes out, I think, uh, axle to, to wing comes out at 83 millimetres. So um, anyway, let's, uh, let, let's, let's see what she looks like when we, when we stand her on her wheels. Maybe I have to shorten that. I don't know. Okay.